Welcome to Christmas from the North Pole, Christmas Countdown from Geek Alabama. Join us every day during the Christmas season when we talk about stories from the North Pole and Santa Claus. And here to tell your stories is your host, Nathan Young. Welcome to Day 13 on my Season 2 edition of Christmas from the North Pole, Christmas Countdown. Today's episode's a little late, but we're going to get it up. We're going to do another one later today. So, at the North Pole, Santa and the elves receive millions and millions and millions of letters to Santa every year. Especially within the last month or two before Christmas every year is when the numbers really jump. Every, a lot of kids do write a letter to Santa asking, you know, what they want for Christmas or what they wish for Christmas. So now not all kids who write letters to Santa is wishing a gift for Christmas. Some kids are st- dealing with struggles, like maybe a parent is sick. Maybe they're sick. Maybe something happened in their lives and they're wishing for something better to happen during the Christmas season. So it, all the letters are not gifts. But what happens when the North Pole gets all the letters from all, all the kids all around the world, they get them there regularly. They're all flown in, by the way, because you can fly in is about the only way to do it. There's a processing center at the North Pole that processes every letter. And the, there's a team of elves at the North Pole that will read all the letters. They, they read them all. They see what the kids wish or want for Christmas. And they jot that in their internal computer systems that they have at the North Pole. Now, Santa reads a lot of them, too. You know, with millions and millions of letters, it's hard for Santa to read every one. But Santa reads the vast majority of them. He, he'll scan them very quickly. And some of the more touching Christmas card, uh, Christmas wishes for Christmas, the letters of Santa, the, uh, Santa will read to take his time to read personally. Like the ones where a kid's health is struggling. Maybe a kid lost something. You know, those are the tougher letters that the Santa and the elves read every year. And they get those every year for some kids around the world. And it's tough when you have to go to the Christmas season and you lose a loved one. You, you have a health problem. Anything else bad that happens. It, it's tough for some of these kids to go through it. And Santa and the elves wish these kids a better Merry Christmas. And he tries to help if he can, too. Now, I don't, if he can't help, he'll try to reach out to the local community, where, wherever the kids came from, to ha- have them help him, too. So, Santa and the elves, they process all these letters to Santa. They read them. They'll read them all. And if, if kids want something for Christmas, they'll drop that down in the computer system. If it's a Christmas wish, they'll drop that down, too. And this is why the elves and Santa, they got a year-round job up there in the North Pole. Thank you all for watching and listening to this latest episode of Christmas with the North Pole Christmas Countdown. We'll be back later with another episode. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for listening to Christmas from the North Pole Christmas Countdown. For more stories, articles, and podcasts, please log on to geekalabama.com.